Our first time flying into Canada, May of 2024, we are arriving in Vancouver. Hey everyone, I'm Patrick from Oakland Travel, and uh, it is uh, travel day for our Alaska cruise that goes out of Vancouver up to Whittier, Alaska. And so we did a little uh, flight action from Orlando up to Vancouver by way of Salt Lake City. A pretty nice full day of traveling by the time you take into account the length of the two flights and a huge like six hour layover in Salt Lake City. So uh, here we are in the Vancouver airport and pretty nice from what we could see. Obviously this was just a little area that coming out of the gate and then going uh, through customs and then baggage claim and out. out. So we never saw the check-in yeah. part of the airport as if you were flying out of Vancouver. But I mean, the parts that we did see here in the video were very nice. And um, yeah, you know, the in inevitable comparison between this airport and Orlando airport that we're, we use when we fly out because we live in Orlando. And uh, this one hmm, seemingly takes the cake just like the Salt Lake City airport did. So just bigger, newer, more modern. Um, I just wish uh, Orlando airport would get an, would an, up, get an upgrade, but <laughs> it is what it is. But uh, as I mentioned in the previous vlog episode, an interesting little setup here with the customs and border it worked quite well. Uh, we did the arrive can the day before, or two days before, I think, because you could do it up to three days before arriving into Canada by flight. So we went in there, put all our stuff in, passport information, uh, uploaded the photo, et cetera, et cetera. Then we get down here at the bottom of the escalator that you'll see here in a second and go to these little kiosks, stand there. It uh, takes your, you know, looks at your face, matches it up to the, uh, the digital record they have for you, prints out a little receipt that you take with you and just kind of give to a customs officer later on after you picked up your uh, baggage at baggage claim. And you're that's it, you're done. You're out of the airport. And in our case, we were looking for an Uber to take us over to the hotel that's just uh, right kind of down by the cruise terminal in Vancouver. So overall, a pretty, uh, pretty nice little process. If we were to do another Alaska cruise, I would probably opt for the northbound passage again and uh, Vancouver up to Whittier like we did this time in 2024. So uh, this area right here is the baggage claims. You see how nice and big this is and phew, a lot of different uh, terminals here or a lot of different you know, areas to claim the baggage and had to look on the board to see which one was us. So um, a nice trip flying into Vancouver from Orlando by way of Salt Lake City, May of 2024. Here we go, 34 over there. Jeez, this thing is crazy. Interesting um, process there with border control. Little kiosks, they print a receipt, and then you show the receipt to a, like a guard, whatever, whatever, and then you walk over here to get your baggage. Pretty quick, pretty painless. Here we go, Salt Lake City Delta. This is awesome. Oh, the kiosk receipt to the office. Hey, look at that. And your kiosk receipt to the office. So I guess that's the last part of it is like, you know, come over here, get the baggage. I think this you got to give to him or somebody over there. And we're outside the airport, what I think is the pickup area. Yeah, I can do that. I don't know. I mean, there's, it's on the little sign here, but. See, like in San Francisco, they have numbers and, and it tells you go to pick oh, up number. This is the first sign. So yeah. I guess you just have to go to the first sign. In San Francisco, it tell, it has numbers and it says go to pick up number blah, 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 blah on the top level of the parking garage, something, something, something. I mean, there's numbers here, but on there it doesn't tell you. Yeah, it doesn't tell you. It just says, at the international, like the outer curve. So, 